What's up dudes? Today we are going to be talking about how I created this board for the new Revive Winter Line. Revive! Skateboards. Cat. Pizza. <laughs> Alright, let's jump over to the computer where I'll go through all the steps of making this graphic. Making this artwork. Yeah, let's go. All right, dudes, before we jump into this, I want to apologize for how I sound. I'm fighting a little bit of a, a sinus infection, but we're going to get through this. The other thing I want to say before we jump into the details is usually I show this whole process sped up, but I think this time I'm just going to chop things up and maybe speed them up a tiny bit, but not too much. Um, but it's going to be more chopped up because I want to show you the actual what the the process looks like and I'm going to talk about each part um, and then we'll jump ahead once once I finish talking about each piece so okay we're here in Photoshop and I have sketched out the deck um, just on a single layer just rough in the the concept and um, now I'm I'm gonna start actually inking like doing the line work here in Photoshop and I'm using just a simple round brush um, and my Wacom Cintiq that I'm actually drawing on um, straight into into Photoshop so this whole concept the cat versus series um, came from just a meeting I had with Andy and Brian where we were trying to figure out what we wanted to do for this winter series and we knew we were gonna have um, the logo boards for all of the pros and so we wanted to do something really fun and out there for the sort of second series of of the the winter line so um i guess andy's been really into cats lately and uh thought it would be cool to do a cat versus food uh series so he, he was like okay we gotta have the cat going crazy on one side and then a bunch of pizza like flying at the cat on the other side of the board so I said that sounds awesome let's do it and came up with this sketch I think I showed them the sketch and then it was just thumbs up from there let's let's do it um, and so here I am inking the sketch like getting all of the line art down this part this is kind of the fun part of the process for me getting to like clean up the drawing and make everything look cool um so yeah we're gonna skip forward a little bit so you can see some of the progress on the inking uh or the line art stage okay so the cat is pretty much done and now we're moving on to the pizza um so really same process just just inking with a simple round brush getting all the black lines fixed up looking good okay we're gonna skip forward again now finishing up with the last little bit of details on the line work uh, all the pizzas drawn the cats finished and now I'm gonna do a little trick where um, I sort of mess with the line art to make it a little more a little more chunky but also smoothed out and almost like it was was carved instead of inked uh, I, I don't really know how to describe this but it, it just gives a little bit of an effect to the line work and all I'm doing is um, taking the line art putting it into a new document flattening it down and then um, I'm just adding a little bit of a Gaussian blur to the line art so it makes the edges a little fuzzy and then I'm thresholding it down and um, making it straight black and white so that makes it the crisp line art again but it's sort of wherever there's a hard corner it kind of rounds it out um, and I just like that effect I think it looks cool and when um, when the boards are printed at that bigger size uh, it just it just looks nicer I think um, so that's just a little trick I do to sort of clean up the line art a little bit now it's time to color the image. So what I'm going to do here is make um, layers for each separate color. Um, that way I can assign a Pantone to each color and the printer will, will match the colors exactly and we'll get, we'll get those really nice bright colors on, 
on the board. So, okay, so here you can see I'm just filling in the cheese layer. I've picked a yellow color. Um, I think I probably adjust these colors later on to, to get just the right Pantones and everything. Um, but I'm just filling in each layer is its own color. All right, so now we're gonna skip forward. The pizza's all colored, the cat's all colored, and now we're figuring out what color background we want. So I'm just playing with the, uh, I'm adjusting the hue to sort of pick a color. That's something I, I do a lot is um, control U or command U um, brings up the hue and saturation. And you can just kind of drag the hue to, to get color ideas and that's that's something that I do to like help pick colors quite a bit um, okay so you can see that I'm sort of I'm clicking back and forth through the other two designs in the series and I'm trying to make the background fit with these so uh, I end up picking this purple color because one of the decks has a red background one of them has a blue so kind of in between that is purple so they will all sort of fit together nicely um, that's the idea anyway. So uh, once I'm done, uh, I call this this part of the process flatting. So like putting all of the flat colors in each in their own separate layers. Now it's time to sort of add some, some texture and dimension. So a trick that I use a lot is uh, the gradient tool. Instead of just using like a normal gradient, um, I'm so selecting the dissolve mode and what that does is makes little teeny tiny like one pixel dots so you're actually putting down a gradient of a solid color and that way you can you can make new new layers with a solid color gradient and still pick a single pantone and it's not it's not a bunch of colors uh, gradating, gradating, I don't know the, the right word. Um, it's just one color going from a lot of little dots crammed together to a few dots spread apart. So it looks, it looks like a gradient, but um, you know, it's actually just little teeny tiny dots. Um, so that's the dissolve mode with the gradient. So I add it to the cat, I um, do a highlight on the pizza crust and a shadow on the pepperoni and uh, I put one in the background to sort of give give the whole deck some uh, some cool dimension with it, you know makes the pizza look like it's flying forward more. Okay, now now we're skipping forward. All the gradients are in, and I think the last thing I do here before we're all finished up is just add some more lines to the pizza to sort of give the. The pizza cheese a little more dimension one thing I should say is I'm working inside a template and that template is provided by the board manufacturer revive has a specific shape that they use and this template is designed to that exact shape um, so that's what I'm using to sort of keep everything contained you can see that like some of the lines don't go all the way off of the canvas like the Photoshop canvas but they do go outside of the template all right and there we go that's the cat versus pizza board once this thing gets sent off to the manufacturer they print out a heat transfer that's matched to the Pantone colors they apply it to the deck and then send us a, a huge stack of, of skateboard decks in different sizes and then Brian shoots the photo, puts it up on the website, and you guys get it in the mail. So um, I love, love, love this process, and I have so much fun making these boards. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me make this cat versus pizza graphic, too. All right, dudes. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below. I went over a lot of stuff, but hopefully it was all clear. Um, I will be sure to answer you if there's any confusing parts. Uh, happy to answer. Also, I'm going to put a link down in the description for the shred quarters where you can find this board and all of the other cool revive and force stuff from the winter, winter release. Uh, be sure to add a comment below if you bought anything from the release. Um, I'm really interested to hear what you guys are excited about. It's been super crazy over in the shred quarters, so um, yeah, just exciting all around for a revive right now. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. 
Hope you guys have an awesome productive week and I will catch you later. Carpet board, three shove. Good enough.